Hey guys, it's Isa, and um, I haven't filmed a video in like four months. Welcome. Today I'm gonna be filming what to bring to college and I'm not gonna leave anything out. I'm about to be a sophomore at Rollins College. I lived in a pretty standard dorm with community bathrooms and so I can tell you like everything I brought, literally everything I brought for school. A couple of my friends are a grade below me and they wanted this video. So this is for you guys. And also if it can help anyone else, just pack. If you just don't even know where to start, you're like, I have a suitcase, what do I do now? So number one, I guess we can just start numbering. Clothes, obviously you need to bring clothes. It depends on where you're going to school, you know, if it's hot, if it's cold, if it's moderate temperature. Um, for me, I live in Michigan and I go to school in Florida, so it was very different. I left a lot of my big chunky sweaters and jackets home, but I honestly ended up bringing most of my clothes. The great thing about like packing up for college is you have a chance to go through all your clothes and if you see something in your closet that you haven't worn in like six months or a year, just donate it or sell it because you're not gonna wear it in college either if you already haven't worn it for that amount of time. You'll appreciate it when you move to college if you have just less stuff, just in general. So clothes is a great way to start a lot of people, including me have a lot of clothes that we never wear or even like so time to get rid of that stuff just try to bring almost everything you never know what you're gonna need for an occasion if you have like a dance or like a semi-formal formal make sure you bring like old prom dresses if they still fit you but next is toiletries all the products that you use you know all your facial sprays and moisturizers and face wash just you know bring it all obviously and then like shampoo conditioner and like soap you can just buy when you get to school um, unless you have like a full bottle and you have room in your suitcase then bring that. So makeup, you want to just bring all the makeup that you use and then makeup for special occasions because um, when you go out you're gonna be putting on makeup if that's what you want to do. Um, so you know your false lashes, your lipsticks. Next is shoes and shoes is another thing like clothes obviously. Uh, you don't need to bring your snow boots if you live in Florida, but for me, I brought pretty much all my shoes. I left some shoes, but I've actually ended up donating those or selling them because I realized that I'm never going to wear those again. If you have special like clothes or shoes for your sports, obviously bring those. Is You need to bring a pair of some kind of rubber slides or flip flop like those white rubber Birkenstocks like anything for a shower shoe because okay you have to wear shoes in the shower if you're in a community bathroom or even a sweet style bathroom just like please wear shoes I don't know what kind of diseases you would get if you didn't wear shoes and also most slides like my Nike slides they're cushioning that is not good for a shower because you're using them every day and that absorbs water and it's never gonna fully dry out and it's gonna start smelling like mold I have like these Lacoste ones that are just completely rubber, nothing to absorb water and they work perfectly. Next you'll need two sets of towels so that includes like the full towel, the face towel, and then the hand towel and then two sets of that. You'll be using one and then one could be dirty or in the washing machine so you always just want to have two sets and if someone's visiting you, you have one that they can use. Also you'll need to bring a robe. I. I know like not everyone wears robes, but I really like robes and they're really helpful for like while you're showering. So like, let me tell you when I got to school and there was a community bathroom, like I had to change my whole entire shower routine and I didn't even know what to do, but this is what I ended up doing. So like you go to the shower and then I had a robe and then just my body towel and I used my body towel to wrap around my hair and then my robe to like cover myself and walk back to my room and that worked really well for me. And then I just used my face towel for like washing my face in the morning. And then the hand towel I actually used for to dry off my feet because I didn't have like a shower mat in my room and I want, didn't want to like walk around like my wooden floors with like soaking wet feet. And then also a toiletry bag or tote to bring to the shower to keep all your shampoo conditioner in. Um, mine was like a soft shell bag from Target that I really liked. 
um, but some people have like the hard cases. Just need something to carry your toiletries back and forth in the shower. And then some other random personal things that I brought was obviously my cameras. I brought, I brought an umbrella. I brought some beach towels and my speaker, reusable bags, cloth ones, and like the Lululemon ones, those are really nice because you just need like some kind of bag to bring things around and for my college, we don't have plastic bags on campus. So if you're buying groceries from like the campus store, you have to pay for a reusable bag. So if you just bring your own, then you don't have to pay for one. And then I brought just one like glass Tupperware if you're eating in the cafeteria and you have extra food, you put in there. And then my Contigo, like a thermos coffee mug. This is super helpful because as a college student, you're probably gonna be drinking coffee every day. And if you're drinking coffee every day and you're going to like the Starbucks or whatever on campus, you're gonna be using a plastic container every single day of college and like, it's just so wasteful. And the plastic containers we have at my school for the Starbucks aren't even recyclable, so that's creating so much waste. So if you just bring your Contigo, one, it is sealed. So, you know, you can throw it in your backpack and it's not gonna spill everywhere. And then two, it's a thermos. It's actually like well-made. So it'll keep your iced coffee or your hot coffee, hot or cold throughout the whole entire day. And you're not wasting anything. Oh, I also brought some metal straws too. And then a dish scrubber thing. And I would just bring my Contigo like to the bathroom after I use it and just rinse it out and like scrub it super quick and easy. If you just like make it a habit, it's not a big deal. And then I just dried it on like a stack of towels that I had. You can either like keep a pack of bottled water in your room or I brought one of these. It's kind of like a decor item, but it also is practical. I would fill it up with the water dispenser that's like outside of my dorm. It's kind of like it's not a long walk, but it's a long walk for me because I'm lazy. So I don't like having to walk all the way to the water fill station every time I want water. So I would just keep it in one of these like glass containers and drink out of it. And then when I get, and like use it to like water my plants and stuff. Have some kind of container where you can keep water because at like 12 at night, if you're like thirsty, you're not gonna wanna leave your room and go walk over to the water fill station supplies is also a very personal thing everyone has their own vibe of what they like to use but for me personally this blows my mind still I got one of those five subject notebooks that are like this thick and I'm not even kidding you I use that notebook for a whole entire year of college like both semesters for every single class and because i don't know there's just so much paper in it and i would just divide it by subjects and then the next semester i just put a little tab to like signify what was last semester and what's this semester and it worked perfectly i didn't use any binders but i also had a folder just like you know one of those simple folders to keep loose paper so they don't get crumpled in your backpack and then pens and pencils and highlighters and you know whatever and then a little tip also for your textbooks is unless you are one of those people that really prefer to have a physical textbook i would always go for the online textbook because typically it's cheaper and obviously you're not carrying it around so it's not heavy in your backpack and if you're making a study guide you can copy and paste like the graphs that are in the textbook that you probably have already studied and you know really well. So if you can like have those on your study guide, it just looks really nice. So most colleges give you a twin XL bed. So keep that in mind. It's not a normal twin, it's not a full, it's not a queen. You need a fitted sheet, a duvet, a flat sheet, and some kind of throw blanket. A duvet is the feathered, quilted, just main chunky blanket. If it's too hot for a duvet, then you use your flat sheet and then a throw blanket for, you just need, need some layers for different temperatures, you know. Twin XLs can be kind of hard to find because it's kind of a weird size. So um, if you can't find a Twin XL, just keep looking, but they're definitely not everywhere. For me, I brought two pillows. I ended up actually getting a body pillow because I didn't have any seating in my room and all my friends would sit on my bed. The body pillow works really well as converting your bed into a sofa. You will 110% need a mattress topper and this is like the foam or feather thing that 
goes on top of your mattress that makes it all soft and cushiony and amazing because even if you have a terrible spring mattress if you have a nice mattress topper that bed will feel like a cloud so obviously you can design your room however you want but some basic room decor things that i think is really helpful is to have a closet organizer so some kind of like contraption that can make your closet a little more space efficient so that whether that be like a shoe organizer or if i can find a picture of the one i have i will um but it was kind of like a shelving unit and it came with a towel rack below it so you need somewhere to hang your towels and at least for me the command strip was not durable enough for me to hang my towels and i didn't personally use a shoe organizer but you can if you want i just had mine on the floor like in my closet in some drawer separators so i got these like white cloth things from ikea they were super cheap and so helpful because i use the same separators to organize my makeup in my desk <laughs> forgot the word for that and then you'll definitely need some kind of lamp or light fiction um i don't know if you guys heard that that was one of the loudest thunder rumbles that i've ever heard in my life it's not even it's not even cloudy it's not even like storming or raining i can see a blue sky right in front of me but there's like some distant clouds holy crap <laughs> That literally scared the crap out of me. Okay, so you'll need a lamp or some kind of lighting fixture. I'll just show you, show you guys a picture of my dorm. So I had one that was on my shelf thing and then one that was over my desk. So you just need that. If you only rely on the light in the middle of the room, it's not gonna be enough. And then obviously you need a mirror. So just like the handheld mirrors, you can get one with the light around it that's what i did but it didn't even work also need a full length mirror because you can't just not know what your outfit looks like you know you 100 percent need a fan because well i did because i live in florida so it's it a little toasty so you need some white noise if you have a roommate it's just like awkward in my opinion to sleep like with someone in the same room and have it be hit like completely silent because then like if you like move in your bed you're like oh am i like waking them up i don't know just me, that's just a me thing. Lastly, is some kind of shelving unit. So I got mine from Ikea. Literally 80% of the things in my room are from Ikea. Yeah, my shelving unit worked really well for a decor piece, but also for extra storage. Oh, I totally forgot about this. Um, Get an essential oil diffuser. You cannot burn candles in your room and if you can't open your window like i couldn't there's not a lot of air circulation so it can get a little stuffy in there so you want some nice aromic scents oh i didn't own a vacuum but i use my boyfriend's vacuum like every other day so if you want to get a little handheld vacuum i would highly suggest that if you're a clean freak like me i think that's it i hope this video was helpful i did not like sugarcoat anything this is just literally a list of everything i had inside of my dorm the whole entire year and what i used i don't know what i'm gonna be filming next i'm moving into an apartment this year so i think i'm gonna do a move-in vlog and like be like look at my new apartment because i don't know it's fun so i might do that but i will see you guys next time i film and don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload which is not very often so sorry about that see ya i don't know how to end have a nice day bye